Hey there Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to Embodied Waters. We're going to look into your energy for the week of the 22nd until the 28th of January and we have some timeless messages here. So I wrote this down earlier and got some cards from the tarot deck. Okay, I'm getting here there's an energy of six that is following you which is the planet venus which is love so there's something about war and strategy that is coming up for you and there was a new moon in your sign a few days back right and it's all about you coming out into the light you're shining okay and then there is here having a shift major shift in paradigm and how you operate okay i'm also getting in a family and community being the loyal one a shift in, of perspective about what may be what maybe was given as a gift to you a person situation connection also to a high priestess your spiritual gifts so it could be that this situation that you're coming to see as a gift could be a person um someone who, who is connected to spirit or it could be you that is coming into light about your spiritual gifts and how to harness them and honor them in your career in any capacity and then you're having or looking into new beginnings in this new shift of vision and sight so there's something about extraordinary vision and sight coming in for you capricorn and yeah i'm getting that this is something that you are already embodying okay so let's look into your week this video is going to be more than 10 minutes and the rest of the video will be on YouTube. I'll also do an extended reading, which you can find on Patreon with the same name, Embodied Waters. Okay, or you can find the link in my bio. So I'm getting Chariot and Death here for you. Hmm. Moving on. It's like you're bringing these two energies together of moving and allowing some death to happen of the ego because these are two vehicles right they're both moving they are about travel so i'm getting your moving your healing as you're moving maybe you did you did it the other way around before okay and this death is bringing in some kind of surrender for you is a process of surrender so you may feel this is also the heart chakra this is a scorpio card mm. now so there's something that is requiring you to surrender during this week it feels like a glorious experience as well or this may be about a water sign i'm getting cancer or scorpio so it may be cancer pisces scorpio okay so let's go i'm seeing the five of swords and page of swords in the inverted position okay at the beginning of the week knight of swords moving away from something or communication Something about your communication cap, okay, maybe there is something to do with your throat chakra that you are moving away from. Maybe you, it had to do with your communication or it could be that someone, you cut off something and you're now moving forward into this week. So it feels like either or both, whether you cut off something and you're moving into this week or you have released something it could be a pattern it could be a situation a relationship there's something you woke up to and maybe you voiced your truth about it okay and it's coming right at the beginning of the week so maybe this is something that you are doing you are like releasing something to step into this week okay nine of swords and in the inverted position is still coming out so it's like whatever you're releasing thanks to this uh death that is visiting your door um 
you're being rebirthed into calm and then it feels like you'll be able to sleep that's what i'm getting it's like you're going to feel very light by the middle of the week and hmm. with this coming underneath the chariot there may be something to do with travel so maybe you're traveling to someone or something or someone is traveling towards you towards the middle of the week with this knight of swords there may have been some communication that went on all right towards the middle uh, the end of the week what do we have seven of wands boundaries communication of boundaries or the way is cleared we're going to look a bit further into the seven of wands let's see six of wands yeah the way is cleared victory in this situation so let's look at this there's something involved with traveling and someone going through an ego death at this time and this person i'm getting is another person's energy this person is has cut off something maybe a pattern of not communicating and yeah they've, they've moved away from it they are no longer silent yeah that's what i'm getting they are no longer silent and they may be moving towards you towards the middle of the week and it feels like whatever this is is going to grant you some form of calm uh, peace of mind maybe you have been feeling some unrest because of the absence of communication from this person okay but yeah this chariot is giving the energy of a car or movements or travel mm. and towards the end look at that we have seven of wands plus six of one seven plus six is 13 and one plus three is four so there is victory in this situation <laughs> that is the bottom line here there is victory in this situation and the way the, the you can see i'm getting there is something about sights enhanced sight maybe from both parties or from one party but what yeah there is victory look at that Hmm, and I'm getting so much passion as well with this ones. But death is exiting the week, so there's a major transformation happening for you this week. It may be to do with divine feminine, divine masculine. And something that has been keeping you like that is now being resolved. And this is just around the full moon in Leo as well. Okay, so this is something that is orchestrated by spirit with this major arcanas. And uh, we have 7-7 seven, seven here. So this is a week of transformation and transition into the resolution of this situation. Which feels very much like it could be a love situation. It could be also some form of relationship okay we have the ace of wands here yeah there's something coming to light i'm getting a lot of passion in this reading cap okay so let's see look at that real passion stop wasting time in dead end jobs and find your true passion it's fine to experiment but don't settle for less than you truly deserve great match you are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you just delete the work but you can apply it to work as well okay 
for you are in time, like just in time for the greatest transformation that I have seen for you. Yeah, like just in time. Great match. You are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you. Don't give up. You may need to grow your own business to be truly happy. Rewards. You are cashing in on all the good work you have done. Raises, bonuses, and prosperity are coming in. Keep going and keep growing. Wow. Okay. Gifts. You are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and a better position. You could get more money with the deal as well. One more. The future. Plan for the future while living in the present. You are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. Okay. And then we have wish come true. This feels beautiful. It may be a bit emotional as well. Okay. Let's see. But emotional in a beautiful way because when death visits the door, it's really just some fear-based stuff that is coming down, which opens the heart area when it comes to our communication, our truth, you know, what we stand for. Yeah, so it feels like a beautiful week for you. And this is just around the full moon. So I'm going to get something. The full moon in Leo. All right. Oracle, wait for important information. Yeah. This is a very straightforward reading. I will come up with another scenario in case... Uh, you know, this is a work thing, but it feels like an internal process for you. So whether it turns out in a romantic situation, a work situation, it does feel like a deeply transformative week for you. And the chariot depicts the home as well. You know, balance of divine feminine, divine masculine. There is a transformation happening in your heart area. Okay, let's see. Fifty-eight, which is also a thirteen. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. Angels, ancestors, and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed then you will know what to do next angels are supporting you trust them yeah it feels like exactly what is happening so there is some information coming in in the middle of the week it does feel like a conversation and with this seven of wands it's just really knowing what is what like laying everything out on the table and there's victory there's victory with this. It's the way forward for you from here. Okay. Before we go, I'm going to go into the extended reading to get more on this energy on the week. Let's see the wild and sacred feminine. Will, memory. Hmm like you're remembering something you're coming to remember something yeah there was something that came about a memory 
six of cups you've known this person in many lifetimes before you both have known each other in many lifetimes before and it feels like you're waking up to it feels like uh, something coming back around just like we have the past in our physical situation that comes back around so does our past lifetime memories hmm. and you are getting the past lifetime memories here with this comeback this is gorgeous okay White buffalo cow woman, integrity. Or well, this person is remembering you. This person is seeing you. They are recognizing you. Because she had two paths. One path she was not seen. And the other one saw her for exactly who she was and her strengths and her gifts. And she walked a long journey to get there. It could also be a community. Maybe you change jobs with this white buffalo calf, calf woman. It does feel like you, you did a lot of traveling, okay? It doesn't have to be in physical places. Maybe you did change a lot of places just to find the right fit like you trusted your intuition on this journey swan grace yeah all right cup i'm gonna go into the extended now and i hope that this message was helpful just gonna lay this out here If this message resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow, and I'll definitely see you with more videos. Do take care.